Okay, in this video, I'm going to take you through item pre processing with regex. We've created these failed logon items and they're working. And I've just filtered this latest starter by my two hosts with that template that contains those failed logon items. And if I look at one of them, and it contains a lot of information about that logon failure event. Now, that's a lot of information to store in Zabbix, or possibly you don't really want all that either. You just want a section of it. For example, the first line. Now, the data return from an item can be almost anything. And this is a good example to use because it just contains a lot of text, and I can just demonstrate extracting parts of it using pre processing. So in this example, I'll show you how to convert this item to only extract just the first line of the text. So let's just grab that and put it into a notepad for now. Now go to a website called regex101.com and in test string here, just paste that full text from the event log. Now I want to extract just the first line. So I'm going to use a regular expression for that. So up here, the top line here, I can use dot star in brackets. Those brackets here in the explanation section say it's the first capturing group. And then it just describes further what's going on. So any regex you write in here, this website will break it down for you and tell you what's actually happening. So what's happening here is every line has been broken into individual lines. And we can see on the right here, match information, match one, match two, match three, match six has the line subject, match nine has the line security ID. We just want the first line and account failed to log on. So I can now modify our item inside Zabbix to use that regular expression. Okay, so go to configuration templates, items for that template that we were editing, the event ID item, and up here it says pre-processing. There we go. Let's add a pre-processing step. And the option is regular expression. And that's the pattern. Output backslash zero. That will output that there. An account failed to log on. Now we can test this regular expression against some sample data. So test. So that value I copied into the notepad. And also copied into regex 101. I'm just going to put that in there. Apply. And now press test. Okay, so it's returned the first line of the log file. Okay, so we can close that. Now we can update this item. Now because this item gets run on hosts behind the proxy, I will also need to update the proxy. Doing a config cache reload. So now if I generate a failed logon on one of those Windows hosts, this one, for example, this is MS Edgewin. I'm just going to generate a failed logon, enter, password incorrect, and go into monitoring later starter and just watch the history for MS Edgewin 10 and just wait. There we go. An account failed to log on. It's only shown me one line rather than showing me the whole lot of the information now. So that is a little bit more easy to manage. Uses much less data inside your Zabbix database as well, in case you were having thousands of these a day that you wanted to monitor. Okay, so the next thing you might want to try is you might not want the first line. You might want a different line. For example, account name here, MS Edgewin 10. The regex for that is a little more complicated. To get a different line like that, what you can do is you can, before the capturing group here, you can write the string where it starts so account name down there so count name colon okay so full match here account name colon ms edgewin 10. this white space here is actually tabs so i can actually just write before the capturing group slash tab slash t for tab and now just highlights just that text without the white space show that again okay here it's highlighting the white space as well i don't want the white space Okay, so it's just the word that I want. So full match is account name colon with MS Edgewin 10 being in group one. So that's the capturing group, the first value in the capturing group, that there. So we can add that to Zabbix and actually just 
print that line now instead of an account failed to log on. And also, for example, just say you wanted account domain instead, so you can go account domain and it will return work group, group one there. But anyway, let's just test that account name. So copy that, go into configuration templates, into the item, pre processing, regular expression, we'll place that with that and we'll test that again. And here I should put that value on the notepad. There we go, apply and just do a quick test. And what it's done, slash zero up there, has printed out the whole line, account name MS win 10. Now, if I want just that first value in the group, I would write slash one and test. There we go, it's just the first value in the group now. And you can see that here on regex 101 as well. Group one, there's the first value. Slash zero will bring you that. Slash one will give you that. Okay. Now, I'm not going to update and test that out. I'm just going to expand this even further. I don't want the first one. I want the second one here because this account name is actually written twice. And account name for the second one is actually the user account that I want to know about. And that is IE user. And that's IE user there. This is the user that was doing the failed logon. Okay, so that regex is slightly more complicated. I've already prepared it. So what it's doing is it's finding the first occurrence of account name. It's then creating a group of anything and even new lines as many times as possible. And then finding tab account name again, slash tab, slash tab, and then the value down here being I user. Now regex is hard to write. I didn't write this quickly. I had to try out loads of things before I got this correct. Some people are really good at regexes, but most people aren't. So expect to take a long time trying to get your regexes correct. Anyway, that works for me. If I look at the match information down here, the full match is all that stuff highlighted in blue. And then group one, well, I'm not really interested in that. I'm interested in what I've got here in group two, I user. So let's put this into Zabbix. Copy, okay. That's it there, and I want slash two, which is going to give me back the value in group two down here, IE user. Okay, let's test that. Let's test, and there it is, the result, IE user. Okay, let's save that update and update the proxy. Okay, let's generate a failed logon for this particular user. Enter, password incorrect. Now, monitoring later starter. Let's look at the history. Last five minutes. Let's just wait for that to update. And there it is. Value IE user. I'll look at that for 15 minutes. We can see the first time I did it, I was returning all the complete log. The second time, I only one of the first line. And the third time, I'm actually explicitly searching through it until I find the second occurrence of account name and then just taking that value there. Very good. So that's using item pre-processing with regular expressions. Very good.